Hey guys, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing quick, beginner-friendly patterns that are perfect for gifting or decorating your house during the holidays. Today, we're gonna learn how to make these easy crochet ornaments for beginners. If you're excited about the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. For today's tutorial, you will need a medium weight yarn. I'm using two different colors for this tutorial, but you can use one color, you can use three colors, it's totally up to you. For my yarn, I'm using Bernat Super Value. You will also need an ornament like this or something similar. I purchased a whole bunch of these from my local Joann's, a 4.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. For this tutorial, we're going to start with the color white. Now to get started with this crochet ornament, we're going to create a magic circle. And if you've never created a magic circle before, I'll leave a link in the description where you can find a full step-by-step -step tutorial. Now chain three. And we're going to place 11 double crochet into the center of our magic circle. And a double crochet in the US is a treble crochet in the UK. So to double crochet, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we'll put 10 more into this circle. Pull your hook up a little bit and close your ring. And by the end of round one, you should have 12 double crochet because that chain three counts as a stitch. Now here we're going to change our color. Insert your hook into that top chain three that started this round. Grab your new color and pull it through that chain three and through the loop on your hook. And then chain three. And we're not going to cut off our white yarn because we're just going to switch it at the next round. So go ahead and place two double crochet into the base of the chain, which is the same stitch that you just worked out of. And I like to crochet over my last strand just to keep it in place. Now we're going to chain two, skip this next stitch here, and place three double crochet into the next. chain two, skip the next stitch, and three, place three double crochet into the next. And we're just going to repeat that around. You should be placing your last three double crochet into the stitch before the last stitch. So here's the last stitch here. What we're going to do is chain two, skip this last stitch and slip stitch to the top of the chain three. But when we do this, we're going to change color again. So insert your hook into that top chain, drop your green yarn, and pick up your white yarn, because remember we didn't cut this yarn, and pull through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now chain three. Now for round three, we're going to place two double crochet into the next stitch. So not the base of the chain, the very next stitch. So insert your hook. And again, I'm going to crochet over that green color just to secure it. So two double crochet into that next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. three double crochet into this chain two space, and 
Now one double crochet into the next. Two double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the next. So we're going to repeat that pattern. Three double crochet into this chain two space, then one double crochet, two double crochet, one double crochet, and so on. At the end of this round, you should have 42 double crochet. Now to begin round four, we're going to slip stitch into that top chain three, drop your white color and grab your green, and pull that strand through the chain three and through the loop on your hook. Now chain one, and now we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So place your first single crochet into the base of the chain, and then single crochet in each stitch around. At the end of this round, you should have 42 single crochet. Now we're going to change yarn color one more time. So insert your hook into that first single crochet of the round, drop your green, and pick up your white yarn and pull it through that first stitch and through the loop on your hook. And for round five, chain one, and single crochet into that first stitch, and then we're going to spike stitch into the next. So if you've never created a spike stitch, we're going to insert our hook into the top of the double crochet from the previous round. So right at the bottom of that single crochet. Right in here, yarn over, pull up a loop. Make sure you pull up your loop a little bit so that it's nice and even. Then yarn over and pull through both loops. Now single crochet as normal into the next stitch. And then again, spike stitch into the next. So we're going right here at the base of the single crochet. Now we're just going to repeat that pattern around. Single crochet into the next, spike stitch into the next. Single crochet, spike stitch. Now repeat that pattern around and I will meet you at the end of round five. Now at the end of this round, you're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet of the round. And then you can tie off your work, leaving a couple inches to weave in your ends. So yarn over and pull that strand through. And then you can go ahead and tie off your green yarn as well. So now what you'll wanna do is weave in all of these ends and then create a second piece just like this, but don't tie off your work at the end. All right, so at the end of my second one, I'm going to leave an extra long tail. Yarn over. That way I can sew my ornament together. Now, once you've finished making both sides, you're going to weave in all of your ends except for the strand that has the long tail. Then grab your tapestry needle and thread your tail. And we're going to sew these two sides together. So this side here is the right side and this is the back side or the wrong side. So whenever we go to sew these two together, we're, wanna, we're gonna wanna make sure that this is on the inside. So we'll place both of them together, make sure that they're both lined up and then we're, we see the right side on this side and the right side on the other side. And we're just going to whip stitch these two sides together. Now, whenever you're whip stitching around, you'll wanna make sure that you're always lined up properly. 
make sure you're going through the two stitches that are lined up with each other. And we're just going to continue whip stitching until you reach about halfway around your ornament. Okay, so now that we've reached about halfway around, I started here and I'm right here. You're going to grab your ornament and place it on the inside. And you'll want the top of your ornament to be towards this side here. And we're going to continue sewing these pieces shut. Now I'm going to pinch these sides together so that it doesn't stretch too much. But we're still doing the same thing by whip stitching and each stitch around, making sure that each of these stitches line up. You might have noticed, but I had to cut a longer strand of yarn because I ran out. So whenever you go to make your tail at the end of your second ornament piece, Make sure that you make an extra, extra, extra long tail, more than what you think you need. That way you don't run out. And whenever you're whip stitching here at the last few stitches, make sure that you're pulling your yarn extra tight so that it stays in place. Now once you reach the end, you'll just want to weave in your ends. So I'm just gonna go through these last stitches here. Tie off your yarn. And that's it for your super simple ornament. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to crochet a simple Christmas ornament. Tag me on Instagram at Sigoni Macaroni or inside the Facebook group with all of your makes. And remember that over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a quick beginner friendly giftable pattern for the 12 days of crochet Christmas. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. I'll see you in the next one.